So this is the old bridge over the beautiful river stream of Umjang. We started hiking at around 6.10 a.m. this morning. Let's begin the day. The time is 6.10 a.m. This is day two. The sun is already here. We are leaving our campsite following the basic principle of leave no trace. Make sure if you have made a little fire, you nicely close it so that it does not burn the bushes nearby. This is such a soft and beautiful warm light. Yeah. Yummy. So the trail to the next village of Ringni is beautiful, it's through the farmlands, mostly walking on a east facing slope and there's a big path to follow and the descent is some 2-2.5 kilometers from the small ridge line where we had camped. Now we're getting closer to the hamlet. Yeah, so we have these little cabin in the woods and you can see these are broomsticks. We can hear the sound of the river stream called Umjar. Again, Um basically is the Khasi word for water. Such a beautiful pool, early morning. This is for recovery. <laughs> cold water. It's cold. Yeah, it's very cold. So there were two parts. We took the one that brought us to the river but we missed that bridge but I think we can go up and then walk on the bridge but it's such a beautiful place to be at yeah. careful yeah oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, this is a nice pool. So you see right underneath this bridge there is such a huge beautiful pool to swim. Yeah. And this is the bridge. <laughs> oh man, this is so, so much fun and scary at the same time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to day two. This is the beautiful Meghalaya crossing a old bridge over the Umjad river stream. Yups. Yeah. Old and new bamboo. Yeah. Pretty, 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 pretty. Swings here and there. And there's such a nice pool underneath, see, super clear. Wow. So the structure that holds the bridge is not in a good condition, it's, it's leaning towards the bridge. But yeah, there's a beautiful path after the bridge. Nice. So that's where the day began, we were there and then the hamlet is somewhere here and then we came down through the forest into the riverbed which is some 1100 meters of drop in 
altitude and now we climb up again seems uh, pretty new to me see, see the sides here? yeah this look at they got a it's really new to build a fire here yeah nice Good, I see a beer bottle. This should be the fire space. Clean on top, rest is bamboo. So there's another use of bamboo you can see. This is to sort of collect water. See a little stream flowing and there's a network of vertically sliced bamboos to collect water. And they're definitely working here. Yeah. They've uh, planted the bananas and chopped off the bigger trees in the forest. There's a lot of struggle, but uh, happy that we are still on the path. And that's where we started from. I think there could be a better trail there but since early morning we were on the east facing slope we were not able to you know see the trail because of the sun as the light was coming directly into our eyes a small basket made out of bamboo and banana leaf and so the structure is bamboo and the filling is the dried banana leaves and there's some nice three meter tall grass through which the trail goes Dry it like this. Yeah, so it smells like turmeric but i'm not sure i've seen yellow but this is Gosh. red orange Yeah, so we are here at the edge of the village. I can't tell what it is. It's like some spice, but yeah, I like. Okay, Lingxing. Mm, Lingxing. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Up. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These very helpful people. We don't understand the language, but we ask about the hamlet. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay. Uh, Lingxing? Up. Okay. Thank you. time to take a break we'll quickly eat something I can see how harsh the sun is it's t-shirts are all wet oh. hello, hello. Yeah. oops sorry we're some 400 meters away it feels so good to leave the road and walk on a path and be in the shade for a while and the time is 12 p.m. in the last six hours we have done some 10 kilometers so this is the lynching market let's find some food a little more uh, potato maybe some more yes mm. So this is a little shop, this is also where you get food to eat. So the time is almost 1 p.m. We got a meal packed and now we start walking. We have to walk on the road for 1, 1.5 1 kilometers because we entered before we enter the next valley. So we have food with us. So we just go as far as we can and camp. 
Come here, come here. This, this side. <laughs> With the canyon. Because you're already taller than me. Oh, that's it. The last thing we made, let's get in here. Thank you. As you can see the tracks, tire tracks, this is where the vehicle goes in. Nice and uh, I think we have a, a road. So we have been walking on this unmetalled sort of a road path. Oh, football ground. Another one. Yeah, goal post. Goal post. So some 17 kilometers done and we have I hope we have a proper path come trail to follow now. Uh, Jata? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, heavy. Oh, very heavy. <laughs> Jata walking this way. Thank you, thank you. So we are in this beautiful valley. We have a small stream which would be a tributary of a larger water stream called Umsi. Quite a nice and flat trail and you can see the riverbed. The water is super clean but it definitely has algae and weed in it. So you can see the next town, it's on the last ridge line that you see, it's called Jatha. Yeah, so after some 22 kilometers of hiking, we finally come on a road. It seems to be pretty new. So I think over time we will sort of lose this trail. And it's a big plateau with lots and lots of hills. The cumulus clouds hovering over the northern side. So we have so we have the trail and we have the road side by side. We are very close to the next hamlet, Jata. Yeah, so see these little houses, they serve a unique purpose. These are like uh, storage huts for the potatoes. Yeah, so this particular setup is pretty unique. I have never seen it before. And uh, you also see that they don't rest at the ground. So there is, you know, some structure at the base. Yeah, and uh, the potatoes are up here. Lovely. Ooh. Yeah, so guys, uh, I've quickly washed my old t-shirt, my cap and socks and I've brushed my teeth and uh, I've also, you know, cleaned my body and you can also see that uh, I used some soap 
uh, as I was sitting there and washing my face, washing my clothes. But we made sure that this river is not going to a village further nearby and we tried to use as little soap as possible. And the water was quite good, it feels refreshed, recharged and you know sort of rejuvenated. So this is uh, day two, this is how it comes to an end. We did some uh, 24 kilometers today. Yeah, so we're all set up. Here is the tent and uh, these are our wet clothes. I, I do hope that they will dry until tomorrow morning. I can actually sleep here. Yeah, so that's the head and that's my feet. Yeah. I'm carrying two uh, one sleeping mat but I've had to cut it into two because I carried only this section for my last hiking which I did in the Western Ghats. I hiked for some good 250 kilometers and some 10 days. So yeah, and it's a nice uh, flat land. So good. Tomorrow's target would be to hike up to the hamlet of Jata. We, we have food. We had packed some rice, potatoes and uh, some pork for dinner from the last hamlet that we had crossed. Good. The sun is about to set. Time is 5.02. They are sourcing some tiny twigs to quickly put up a fire. Ow. Yeah, time to grab some food. Quickly finish this and go to bed. So that's our bed for the night. Good night. We'll see you on day three. Hello. 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 Show show me anything, village. Uh, no. Huh? No. Uh. 